Welcome again. Now, as many of you have probably watched before, uh, these girls here on Justice Con done a brilliant job uh, and brought some interesting people together. And they actually, for their streaming, outdone Comic Con. And that says a lot um, for me, my personal thoughts, because it means that more people tuned into Justice Con, but they're saying basically the fans outside of DC fans, outside of Zack Snyder fans, which is the same in my books, have tuned into this because they're excited. They're now believing. They want to be a part of it. And there's been a lot of speculation about uh, what was shot on the Joss This League movie and the Zack Snyder movie. Zack Snyder reportedly said uh, in the past that what he can tell, he's never seen it, and I've given you proof on that in my previous videos, he's never seen the the Justice League because he was taken out. Um, but by what fans have said about him, he claims that probably only 15% of his movie was used. So when he's making Justice League, the majority that you will see in this film is Zack's work. And by this statement coming up soon, um, he's basically saying he would never, he would rather burn his film uh, rather than use somebody else's. Uh, uh, because, you know, he wants to put his name on it. Uh, and hopefully, again, I'm a big supporter on the Zack Snyder uh, film, and to have his name on the title, I've tried to order the sweatshirt. Um, will I get it? Who knows? It's but it's a lot of money, and uh, for me, it should be available in shops. It should be copyrighted, and it should be sold in all kinds of shops around the world. And uh, like HBO, it should come to the UK. But here's an extract from it, and I'll give you the link below. Uh, we we paused at each frame, and we're like, that's beautiful. <laughs> we we did spend a lot more of time than a hundred, just yeah. like like looking at Henry's face. I mean, I'm sorry, but we did. Yeah, sorry. I noticed the significant lack of a uh, green screen on the mustache area. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh. <laughs> the that. thing. The thing. There was a the, the, the thing that we are not supposed to speak of. Yeah. Yes, the thing that, yes. I, I, it's I, not I, my I, fault. The chat is everyone screaming, yay, no mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also oh, no, are screaming I, to play it back, but you know. Yeah, I will, I will never see an image of uh, Henry Cavill with a mustache in my. Uh, the work that I did, so. Mm -hmm. I, was gonna, um, you're, I was gonna say, you did see him with a mustache in your announcement. I did see him the other day, but in the movie, yeah, there was no, there's not, a, there's no shots with him with a mustache. There, there are people out there that are kind of misinformed about, you know, the difference between your movie and the movie that came out in 2017, and some of them are claiming that you're gonna use some of Whedon's scenes. Which you're not. There right? would be no chance on earth that <laughs> a shot that was made prior or after I left the movie. There would be no way. I would rather, I would destroy the movie. I would set it on fire before I would use a single frame <laughs> that I did not photograph. That is a fucking hard fact. And <laughs> that is just, and, and it's, you know. Yeah. I, I, I just. I, I mean, we knew this, but I had to ask just so that we have for know, the for the audience. I literally, for, for I literally would blow that fucking thing up if, if I thought for a second. Hey, <laughs> we don't want it unless it's the way you get. Yeah, done. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, by the way, that, you know, anything you see in this movie that reminds you of the other theatrical release, which again, famously, I've not, I literally have never seen. Would be because that was a thing I had done, and now right. it's being borrowed for whatever the Frankenstein's monster that 
<laughs> have you uh, have you heard Junkie XL's soundtrack? I have heard a lot of it. He's working like a maniac right now. You know, New sound. You know, you're not going to have the, the score done. that There's, was used. The Justice League film was totally just we didn't ruin what Zach like created. Definitely. This morning, frankly, we were just going about like, oh, we got to make sure this and oh that moment and crazy. Gotta have this happen and that and so yeah, we, he and I are jazz and we are we're, we're working like maybe can't wait. So, yeah, he's he's so inspired too. It's just awesome to hear him on the phone. He's just um, he's just really he's just gonna do something. So we're getting demands to play it again. All right, with you, boss. Sure. Let's see one more. All right. We'll leave it. We'll leave it there. So I mean, they they three girls done a fantastic uh, job, but let us know your thoughts, uh, feelings. Did you watch the one WonderCon, um, Justice Con? It's a fantastic thing made of fans. Um, started by fans and the fact that the people behind the scenes of the Justice League movie and Zack Snyder's team, uh, you know, they interview people like. Ray Porter, who is going to be doing the voice of Darkseid, who is more stronger, more powerful than Thanos, and uh, they were created by the same creator, surprisingly, um, because that Thanos needs his glove of rings, you know, Darkseid doesn't need it. There's a great interview on that, on the voice, and when you listen to these people coming forward, uh, and the journalists, uh, all you need to do is put that in. You can see the love and the passion um, from people from all over the world and how someday, like, uh, the character of Cyborg can, uh, you know, can speak volumes for people with uh, disabilities, with, you know, with mechanics attached to them, to the black people, to the, you know, from the Amazons, which have a mixed race of colour and everything else. Zack Snyder Films speaks to a lot of groups, but it doesn't shove it in your face. You know, he believes in strong women, he believes in that, and again, doesn't shove it in your face, uh, unlike many of the movies that are coming out just now, like Captain Marvel and all that sort of stuff. It has nothing to do with feminism or women are better than men. It's all about equal opportunities. And the fact that Zack Snyder is married to Deborah Snyder, who also appears in, in the thing, it's, it's a team effort between man and woman to bring this and everyone who comes in contact with uh, that lovely couple uh, you know, will never, you know, would cross over oceans and try just to work with this fantastic team. And it gives us something really um, to look forward to next year. And I believe there is, um, I've often, you know, I closed down my Facebook page um, after spending so many years defending uh, Man of Steel and BVS and highlighting why they were so great and and then it came on to this and released the Snyder campaign started and people often ask well what we're we going to do what we're we going to do once all this blows over and to be honest it's became such a part of my life uh, that I've I've in the past tried to shut it down like I did with my, my page um, but there is so much of a community involved in the, the, the Zack Snyder's team that is that it's gone beyond the movie it's been gone uh, beyond the cause this is something that will go down in history this will be something that people will be talking about um, of their accomplishments and everything else, and you know, and we've got people like Ray Fisher that's just came out and shown a shown a big torch on, you know, wrongdoings like the way Josh, Whedon treated their 
their stars and everything else and how the corporation and businesses tried to squash a guy who lost his daughter. Uh, so yeah, no, this campaign, there is so much we can talk about it. And DC fandom that is coming around the corner next month promises to release a trailer not only for the Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, but for Wonder Woman and 2 and news. And let's hope that news is more of Zack Snyder's Justice League, his continuing story arc, which will see the Justice League go head to head with Darkseid. Will we see Superman, you know, losing control? The, the nightmare scene explained. This is what we want, this is what we need. Uh, um, and Zach's, you know, this is an Elseworld. You can have so many different versions of Superman and Batman, and it's we're not telling you to love it or like it, just accept that this is somebody else's take on it. These characters, as Zack Snyder has often said, are much bigger than any director. These characters will live on long after filmmakers have, have, you know, have finished their movies and everything else. Some new director will come on and put his ingredient into these characters, just like authors who write the comic books, change the characters to give them freshness. You know, and Superman has changed throughout the years. There has been stories where he's been a very big jerk towards Jimmy Olsen and stuff like that and Batman has been a bit of a, a real badging as well um, but characters change they go and, and um, but what the studio what this whole movement has has proven is that the studio underestimated their audience studios believe that they can not only treat people behind the scenes, like the actors and the directors, any which way they want, but studios have believed for some time that, you know, they can do, put anything out there, like Marvel movies, anything out there, and we will just lap it up and love it and appreciate it, and that they know better than what we do. But this audience who went to see what was promised to be a Zack Snyder movie, sat down and watched it. And he says, this isn't Zack Snyder's film. Why is Zack Snyder not involved in this? They asked questions. And we got answers. You know, we got answers. And, this, and we asked questions, well, why did you do that? Why did you false advertise this? You know, it's the same as the female Ghostbusters. Why advertise that this was a continuation from the male Ghostbusters too? You lied to us. Audience. Audiences. You must respect audience. And the audience have spoke back. And this is what we've accomplished. A large amount of money for charity... People around the world coming together, communicating, sending letters to the studio. There's why the mistreatment of these people. And because of these movements, there's investigations going on. People who were wrong, who were bullied are getting investigated. Uh, and we are <laughs> and we are going to see, you know, and we've got every right to be happy for this. This is one of a very few positive things that have came out since the creation of the internet. And I think I will forever uh, be a part of this and, and be a part of the of the Zack Snyder movement. And of course I've had my ups and downs. Uh, you know, I've had my my fears and my uh, and as you can tell by my previous videos, there's sometimes you know, because my DC fan, there was times, you know, I went Zach, please tell me you're telling us the truth about this night. I want you to, you know, uh, I had my doubts, but we stuck, we stood together, we united, and as the woman said to Zach Snyder in this interview, you know. 
he helped us by telling us to keep up the fight that he is with us that he's you know as a director he knows and as I say in a, in a, a scene later on with um, Ray Fisher when he's talking about the injustice done Zack Snyder's watching him watching Ray Fisher talk as he's telling these three girls about the the hardship that these actors were put under under Joss Whedon and Zack's listened to it all and he's came on board and he's talked to them all and this this is unity this is this is people who had small parts from from small parts to big parts behind the scenes small jobs to big jobs they've all came out uh, to support this and the you know and it means so much to pe- the people involved and their families and the fans and everything else so uh, yeah what we will see is when it comes out on HBO will be a totally different movie and uh, if you've got anything you want to say about the about Justice Con or about anything else let us know in the comments below thanks for watching me